This is a quick demo on uh, fixing DSLR audio sync problems in Final Cut 10. Uh, if you record audio directly into your DSLR, um, the sound is going to be one frame off from the picture. Oh boy! Uh, this used to be two frames off, or at least in my experience it was two frames off. Um, I'm not sure if it's using different software or whatnot on my camera. Um, I'm running a, uh, a Canon T2i running Magic Lantern. Uh, the current version as of March 2012 um, so your mileage may vary and I would I would check it carefully to make sure but if you're the problem is if you're going to do dual system audio and you're syncing based on the sound the, uh, the the reference sound from the internal mic on the camera your sync is then going to be off because the camera's audio is off it is in fact uh, one frame early and so to prove that I have this clip here of uh, uh, iPhone Slate and if we watch it um, very carefully, one frame at a time, you'll notice that we hear the audio of the slate before we actually see it move. There it is. Okay. And so what we need to do is readjust the sync. And fortunately, in Final Cut 10, that's really easy. Uh, in Final Cut 7, this was a step that you had to do much further down the line in the post-process, uh, and it was a big, annoying nightmare. Uh, fortunately, with Final Cut 10, it's significantly easier. So you may not know this, but every clip that's in your browser, you can actually open and edit directly. You can edit the clip itself. It's really easy to do. You just select it and right click. And I'm going to choose uh, Open in Timeline. And that's going to open that clip as if it's its own project, which is kind of wild. This is something that Seven definitely did not do. Oops, I've got the wrong clip here. Do uh, Here we go. Uh, open in timeline. Okay, so my problem is I need to now move the audio uh, one frame forward. It helps if you zoom in uh, on the section of the timeline you're working with so you can see things easier. And I've already put markers on exactly the frame in which the iPhone, the button lights up blue here. And I've put a marker on the audio exactly where the sound of the slate is. And these, if, there was, if these were in sync, these should line up. And obviously they don't. And I need to bring the audio one frame forward. Now since I know all the audio in all my clips is just going to be one frame off, it's really easy to just go in and adjust them numerically. I don't have to visually verify it each time. So all I need to do is click on the audio track and type without clicking in any boxes or pushing any chord shortcuts just by itself type plus one and that automatically pops you into the move uh, time code entry box over here and you hit enter and all I've done is just moved this audio clip forward one frame and now it's going to be in sync we can, we can play that back and verify it perfect and now this clip is ready to use. You can make a selection and drop it in your project uh, anywhere you want it to go, and that's going to be in sync. So the workflow, if you're, you're shooting with DSLRs and you're planning on doing your syncing uses, using Final Cut 10's uh, built-in uh, audio clip synchronization function, the first thing you do after you import all your clips from the DSLR is go through and adjust the sync uh, using the process that we just described. So you grab a clip, right-click it, go to open in timeline this one I've already done so you can see the one frame offset but when you open it up it's gonna look like this you select the audio track and for my particular camera setup I know that it's always one frame off I'm gonna do plus one and now that's in sync so I need to do this for every single one of my clips before we start editing but after we've done this we shouldn't have to touch the sync again and that's it alright um, hope this is useful to you alright happy editing